Spiritual soul in the building. Gazer, gazer, nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Now check this out, man. I wanna, I wanna send y'all. I wanna give y'all some positive energy. Some of my positive energy right now. And for all y'all, for all my new subscribers, for anybody that's new to this channel, from anybody that know me from my old channel, etc. I am a totally different person, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm a totally different person. I don't really find a lot of stuff entertaining that I used to do no more. I don't drink no more. Barely smoke. Um, I just find myself very healthy now. Very happy. Taking care of myself. Love meditating, bro. I love spending time alone. I don't like being on social media. And I hate fame. But I got a purpose. And my purpose is to inspire. To be here for y'all. So in order for me to be here for y'all. I got to be the best version of me. Duh. Now let me tell you something. I want to let you know. If you somebody out there right now that haven't found your purpose, you can't meditate, you probably haven't found the schedule to start eating healthy. You probably can't even afford the healthy. You know, they charge a lot. I don't understand why they charge so much for healthy food. Like, I don't get it. But it, they charge way, like, bro, this life, this this matrix is so fucking backwards, my nigga. Like, we, first of all, we got a social security card. We got a number on our life. People don't even question that. It took me 20 some plus years to start questioning that. But y'all motherfuckers gave me a number when I was born. Like I wasn't even human. Y'all just handed me a number. Like, here you go. That means we don't own our life, my nigga. Who's the person that handed us that number? Who owns that shit? They own our life. So I want to let you know it's not your fault. Everything is set up for us to fail, especially black people. And I'm not racist. I love my snow bunnies. I fuck with, I fuck with uh, white females all the time. Um, I have no problem. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. All that shit. The racism was started by these fuck these people that's running this matrix. All of the history was changed. Everything that you thought was, everything that you know is a lie. Nine times out of ten. The Bible was completely switched. Some of y'all don't even know nothing about the Old Testament. Y'all don't know about the Bible that existed before the Holy Bible. Y'all never did y'all research. Y'all are robots. So if you somebody out there that feel like you can't find your purpose, you have to understand if you want to be a rapper nowadays, the goal is to be happy. You want to be able to release your music whenever you want to. I'm telling you right now, once they give you that money, your whole life will change for the worse. Everything be good at the beginning. It's like meeting a female for the first time. It's always good at the beginning. And then a bitch start tripping. That's how this life is. Even when you, man, most of the people y'all look up to is the ones that hit me up the most asking me about advice and different stuff. So if you're a rapper and you haven't got signed, bro, nine times out of 10, you better than half of these motherfuckers that signed, bro. It has nothing to do with you not being good. You need to understand that. The, the way this matrix is run, everybody is programmed for agendas, man. It has nothing to do with how you rap. You better than these niggas, man. You can do it independent. You just got to learn how to love yourself, bro. Stop competing with people. Stop trying to do what other people is doing. Continue doing you. Don't look at it like somebody got to hand me something. You can. You already got everything you need. You just got to have the right mindset. And that's why I take breaks from social media. I get paid for social media and still barely be on this motherfucker. People be on here more than me and they don't even get paid for it. Social media destroys your mental. It fuck up your ideas. It had you in competition with friends. It had you missing out. It had you feeling like you missing out on all this. But if social media never existed, then we'll, we won't have these anxieties. We'd probably still be having anxieties and depression from them putting us in school. That's where all that shit started at. Putting us in school around all these motherfucking weird ass people that we don't know. We got to be around these people and learn some shit that's going to serve us no purpose. School was set up for you to fail. It was set up for you to be confused. So when you graduate... Man, you don't even know what to do now. Now everybody's everybody is a rapper, bro. Rapping is not even... Bro, they are programming everybody to want to be a rapper. And all these rappers that y'all look up to right now, all of them is just going to be a person with a lot of Instagram followers later on down the road. How many rappers have you known that had the number one hit song and it's, they, 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 not, they are relevant right now? You know why they are relevant? Because it comes a point in time. It's not their fault. Understand that. I'm not saying it down in them. It's not they fought. They are controlled. You can't release what you want to release, man. It's always going to be a new popping person. They want to pause you. 
Imagine being paused on your career. You didn't work your ass off, got signed, got heli fans, and they tell you you can't post music for a minute. How would that make you feel? Was the money worth it? So, if you a female, you beautiful, sexy, you take care of yourself, um, you not ratchet and shit, you not ratchet at all. You know how to carry yourself like a woman. You the one that we want. Not the nigga. Like y'all, it's nothing wrong with niggas being in the club and shit. I go to the club, but I'm not, bro, listen, you're not, if I'm not, I used to always bring females home from the clubs, the strippers, all this. My ex was a stripper. You know what I'm saying? All this shit. I admit it. I had no idea. I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? So them not the ones you really want to be around. The energy that they carry, the shit that they around, you don't want to be around those type people. I don't want my daughter to look up to no strippers. I wouldn't want, you wouldn't want your daughter to look up to no strippers, right? This is what they are looking for. They're not looking for beautiful women that will have women wanting to be on their shit. They looking for the ones that's twerking. It's nothing wrong with twerking. Shake that out, bitch. I'm not throwing no money at you. I'm sorry. You get no down. You No. The fuck? You, want, you don't want to fuck? I'm not hitting that. You don't want to fuck with me. How many niggas did you just twerk on? You, why would I throw my money to you, bitch? You ain't doing nothing for me. You don't even like me. These are the females that they praise. Most of the girls in strip clubs, I'll make a video about y'all. But they are, they are programming everybody to want to be further and further away from your true self. And if you was able to actually see how this matrix is ran and see the people that you look up to, the people that you look up to is the reason why you hate yourself. You trying to be like somebody who's really destroying you because they are making you become further and further away from yourself. What I mean by that, like y'all who look up to girls who wear a lot of makeup, you don't even love yourself. You look like a totally different character. Who are you? So you go out and you want to date these men and then you have to show your real, you got to show your confidence. You want to be confident in yourself. Don't make these females think you got to be buying all this extra shit to cover up your skin, making your breakout and all. All that's doing is fucking up you. Understand this whole matrix is made for you to hate yourself. So for y'all female rappers, they don't want y'all female rappers if y'all ain't twerking or nothing. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. This is how this matrix is ran. They want the ones who are like, they got strippers and feet. They got these motherfuckers talking to like, listen, no disrespect to none of the female artists that's out there, but the ones that's on top are thotties. They thotties. They hit it and get the fuck on. I don't know why y'all cut. Most of the relationships be fake. I know most of the relationships. Y'all know most of these relationships be fake behind closed doors. Man, it be hell. Two, two rich people is not going to see eye to eye, bro. I'm sorry. Most relationships is about the business. Because, bro, you, you it just don't work like that. Trust me. It just don't work like that. So you put on for a show, you taking all these pretty relatable pictures. Everything is about a mimi not for you to relate to. So when y'all see couples taking pictures, now y'all want to look like this couple. Meanwhile, they ain't even really together. So now you sitting up here looking for a man that you could take pics with. You ain't even looking for a man who really love you. You just want to take pics with somebody like your favorite celebrities who ain't even really together. Everything is made for you to become a dumbass. Everything is made for you to be a bot. Everything is made for you to become, to hate yourself. Make you feel like your music not good enough. Make you feel like you ain't cute enough. Make you feel like you have to twerk and be a thought. Because most females, they got to go through hell. Man, y'all think, y'all think about selling your soul. Imagine what these females go through. The males do too. I, man, they got to go through all type of sexual shit, all type of shit. Males do too. These motherfuckers is nasty, bruh. These motherfuckers is ridiculous, bruh. I'm talking about you got to go through. For all my new subscribers, I dropped the videos about selling your soul. I dropped videos about clones. Just scroll and look at all these vids, man. Anything you can think of. Right now, I'm just letting you know. The more and more you take breaks from social media, the more you start to see that everything you live for was to entertain and do for other people. I started buying Gucci belts and shit because of other people. Lil Pump. Gucci gang, Gucci gang. That's when I first started buying Gucci belts because of this nigga. I don't even listen to his music. He's I don't even know what he is. No disrespect to him. But shit, I didn't came to the point I see you for what you are. You get what I'm saying? So it comes to a point now. It's like, I want to be here for y'all and let y'all know it's not your fault. You can still 
be on the charts and make your own music. You just gotta have that mindset. Don't have a mindset like I have to get signed because you, how many people out here waiting to get signed? How many people you think make music? Billions, billions. Everybody is a rapper. Everybody is good in their eyes. Yet everybody is waiting for someone to pick them up. Y'all like this, me, me. Meanwhile, you could do it on your own. Start doing it on your own. Have fun. Start going to concerts on your own. You can. You got to change your mindset. Duh. Now, let me tell you this. If you're somebody that plays sports, last but not least, even sports, bro, don't be mad if you don't make it to the NBA. Only 300 make it. Billions play. It's not your fault. They was chosen. They was picked by these certain people at a young age. You got ballless life following these motherfuckers from ninth from eighth grade on up. They are already chosen, man. They gonna develop, they gonna make sure that it is rank, everything is controlled. It's not your fault. Trust me, most of these motherfuckers in the league, you are better than. It's a lot of people y'all see in Drew Lee's torching NBA players, don't you? Yet, they don't even get a chance to make it to the league because they can't be controlled. They couldn't get them at a young age. It's, it's, it's a lot of dark shit about sports too, but... Who cares about that? I just want y'all to pay attention to how you feel. You got to learn what's affecting you. That's why if you start taking breaks from social media, you will know everything. You will know all the cheat codes. You ain't even got to learn how to meditate. You, The first day you take a break from social media, you going to notice how fucking much your life is ran by an object, by a phone, bro. You going to know how much. You don't need Google Maps, bitch. They ain't had that shit in the 90s. You can memorize that shit, but you program to your phone. You can rememberize numbers, can't you? But no, you just program to your phone. We don't remember nobody number no more. So I'm trying to tell you, when you start getting away from social media, you start going shopping, doing a little shit for yourself, you can still do the same thing you do on everyday basis, but now you'll be doing it for yourself because you're not recording for other people. You'll start to program your mind to start loving yourself. You'll start getting that euphoria and you'll start feeling good. You'll get that same feeling that you get when you post pics and get all them likes and you think it's doing something for you. But if your pic didn't get likes, you will delete it. You're doing it for other people. But you'll get that same feeling doing that shit without recording yourself. You'll get that same love and enjoyment seeing yourself happy, crispy. You won't have no anxieties. You won't be controlled. So you got to understand, it's not your fault. You could be anything you want to be. When people normally tell you that, they be bullshitting. But use me for example. I went from soul Illuminati to spiritual soul and I'm doing this shit. And I never thought I could possibly, I never thought in my life I'd go vegan. I never thought in my life I'd learn how to meditate. I never thought in my life I like people because I hate people. But now, I, that's all I care about is, is uplifting people and helping them. I don't like being around people. I don't want to be around nobody who is energy draining. But now I'm all about uplifting people that's going through the bullshit I had to go through. And I want y'all to know it's not your fault. Anyway, man, take care of yourself. Always tap in with yourself. It's all about you. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Likes, subscribers, money, any none of that shit matters if you can't feel good within. None of it can heal that, bro, if you can't feel good within. Anyway, man, spiritual soul signing out, bro.